Yo what's good everybody, what up gamers, it's your boy SBX coming to you once again with a gaming talk 101 and this time I want to talk about Dragon Ball Fighters, Goku, Ultra Instinct and pretty much it came out yesterday so a lot of people been waiting for this DLC to drop for a long time you know what I'm saying so if you had the third season pass or whatnot um, of course, you know, you definitely would automatically get uh, Ultra Instant Goku for free. If you don't, then that's pretty much you spending $5 on the actual DLC. So, which is understandable, a decent price to pay for such a DLC like that. But I'm going to tell you, man, the Ultra Instant Goku, bro, man, Goku is slamming, yo. Like... I feel like he was really fun to play, you know. And I, to be honest, though, like I haven't played much of the Dragon Ball Fighters for a minute, you know, because there's some times that I will play the new DLC characters and then stop playing it for a while, then come back to it whenever a new DLC will come out. But thus far, you know, I like the Dragon Ball Fighters. I think that's one of the best Dragon Ball Z games that I've played on a on. Um, on a PS4 or if you have the Xbox or Nintendo Switch or whatnot, but in this generation of gaming and this platform, it is pretty much arguably the best fighting game thus far, you know. But um, so far, Ultra Goku Ultra Instinct is like, oh my god, it's just the way how he's fast, he's just so like invincible based on his strength and just like how it was in the actual um dragon ball super uh, uh series where he's all powerful and just so fast he's just so invincible like i said in many ways it's like the way he does the kamehameha and just and you know just <laughs> it's his instincts it's just so crazy it's like you know, just like in the anime, just the gray hair, the gray key, key in his body. Like, I mean, I can't even explain much based on this game, you know, this DLC. I mean, it, it is amazing. It, it is amazing. I'm glad that the developers actually put him in this game, you know, as another DLC, you know. But other than that, you know, from... The previous DLC, if you have Kefla, you have uh, Gogito, Vegito, I mean Gogeta, Vegito, well, Janemba, the, the Brawly, the second Brawly, and Fidel, and, you know, uh, Jaren. I mean, my God, like, the list goes on. Like, I have fun playing with, you know, Kid Goku, you know, things of that nature. But, you know, I'm waiting to see if they're going to have, like, a Super Saiyan 4 Goku or Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta or Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, uh, Gogeta, I mean. Or if they're going to bring, like, other characters in the game that we haven't seen, you know. But the way how this looking, man like you have Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 you have Dragon Ball Xenoverse 1 of course 1 and 2 you have Dragon Ball Fighters and you also have the, pr the newest Dragon Ball Z which is one is called Kakarot but the way how this is looking man even though I never done a Dragon Ball Fighters gaming review on this particular channel i mean when i did it back in 2018 in my original sbx channel i discussed how good this game is but thus far my opinions have not changed about this game whatsoever like you know when the more dlcs the better the roster i was hoping that they will develop more stages and things like things of that nature but i don't really have much to say about this based on this game but so far so good so amazing so anyways guys i'm done please leave your comments in the comment section below i love to know everybody's opinion i'd like to know if you would rather cop the uh dlc or you're gonna get ultra instant goku or 
whatever if you're gonna get the game i highly suggest y'all to get it with your opinion on this game as well all opinions matter so anyways guys i'm done share like hit that bell icon and subscribe to the channel until then folks sbx wrapping this up thanks for watching peace out and play hard This here is the power of Ultra Instinct.